In this video, we're going to take a look at some gondola cars and flat cars and the loads that they carry on my HO scale Rock Island based model railroad. We're just panning along looking at a line of cars here that we'll look at in more detail. But right now, let's look at some of the gondola cars and the flat cars that we'll be reviewing and the loads that they carry. Here you see some equipment on flat car, lumber loads, and vehicles. And now what we'll do is take a look in detail at each of the cars and the loads that they're carrying. This first gondola car is an empty car that I just put a few pieces of scrap in it left over from the last load that it carried. So this is just an empty gone. The next one is a gondola car of miscellaneous scrap pieces that have been loaded into the car. These are just pieces I had laying around and put them into the car and, and uh, created a light miscellaneous scrap load. This next gondola car has a large scrap load in it. This is a Chooch product. You can purchase this load from Chooch. And I highlighted some of the scrap in the car and then weathered it with a diluted flat black color just to make it look like a grungier scrap load. The next gondola car is a load of rail and there's a couple layers of rail here separated by wooden spacers and I had pieces of micro engineering rail that I cut to length and then I painted it rust color and created a rail load. The next gondola car has essentially scrap pieces of aluminum, aluminum bales. This is another Chooch product. It's available. This gondola car has wire rolls, rolls of wire for pre-stressing strands in concrete or other uses. This too is a Chooch product. The Ann Arbor gondola car is a load of coiled steel and this coiled steel is available from Chooch products or you can make your own coiled steel. The Pennsylvania Railroad gondola car has concrete pipe. This concrete pipe, I believe, is a lifelike product. It's something I bought years ago, and I just recently got around to placing it in the gondola car as a load. The next Pennsylvania Railroad gondola car has a load of steel pipe. I don't recall the manufacture of this, but you can certainly make your own pipe using straw. You can use uh, plastic straws or other material to create a, a decent looking pipe load. I happened to find this one several years ago and just picked it up, purchased it. Wish I could remember the name of the, of the manufacturer. The Chicago and Northwestern gondola car is carrying I-beams. There's actually two layers of I-beams in the car separated by wooden spacers. I made those I-beams, basically they're just some styrene pieces I had laying around. I cut them to length and then painted them a primer red color which 
is fairly common with structural steel shapes that are shipped. The next car, a Great Northern Gondola car, has timber material for bridge project. This timber would be what we call stringers. And stringers are the spans that go from bent to bent on a timber structure. And so this car is loaded with, uh, I believe I've got about three or four layers of stringers in the car separated by uh, timber spacers. The next car, a Rock Island gondola car, is carrying treated wood ties. And this next car is just an empty flat. It's actually an idler flat. And it's protecting this load of poles in case the poles are to shift in transit. The idler flat would essentially act as a buffer car so that uh, there isn't damage to the car behind where the shifted load is taking place. And on the other end of this load of poles is a, another idler flat. This gondola of poles is an Athern product. Here we have an empty flat car that just has some leftover blocking and a couple of scrap pallets on its deck. This Great Northern flat car has four John Deere tractors. I believe these are Ertl toys. This Rock Island flat car has farm plows. These are Walther's products. The Wabash flat car has two bulldozers. The bulldozers are made by Artitech. This Rock Island flat car has a Caterpillar motor grader, and that is a Norscott product. Next up, we've got some lumber loads. Here's an NP flat with lumber and a Milwaukee Road flat car with some lumber. I do not know the names of the manufacturers of these products. This bulkhead flat car is carrying a load of lumber and this particular load of lumber is from Details N Scale. This flat car is carrying six white Freightliner tractors. I used prototype photos to build the stand underneath the first tractor and then placed the other five tractors piggyback style per the prototype photos. These tractors are Athern products. This is a bi-level auto rack carrying 1966 Ford pickup trucks. All of these trucks are Walther's products.